Today we're going to be talking about HLG or hybrid log gamma. How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Datu. Welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. And today we're going to be talking about HLG, aka hybrid log gamma. Uh, what it is, how to use it, and how to overall like edit with it. Now, throughout all the tutorials I've seen on YouTube with like HLG, it very much works easier in Premiere for some reason. But in Final Cut, I don't know why it's a little bit more of a headache. Um, so this is like my video on how to work with it and how to use it if you are an HLG shooter. I shot one wedding in HLG and I absolutely did not like it. Even though the colors and everything and all that were nice, just the workflow we just took up way too much time and I'm more on trying to get it as efficient as possible. But if you do still shoot HLG and you have also encountered this issue with Final Cut Pro, um, this video is for you. We'll take this clip for example. Um, I shot this in HLG and you will see. Yeah, this is what it looks like in your viewfinder on Final Cut Pro look super blown out and you're like what the heck just happened like when I looked at it on my camera monitor or my external monitor it did not look like this so you have to do a little bit of fine tweaking and that is where you're gonna be in the metadata to do all that and from last week's video I talked about how you could be in general you could also be in the settings um, menu uh, right here right underneath it and again you could still apply your camera a lot but if you do like an HLG conversion lot, you'll notice it's kind of, it doesn't look the same. It looks super, super like underexposed. And you can also work with it. Um, I believe it still works. It's just, uh, again, it's just a lot more of a headache. And I did use Leaming Lut Pro a lot back then for when I did shoot HLG. But for the sake of this example, this is how I work with HLG and hopefully it helps you out. So when you look at it, it looks super overexposed and you don't know what to do. You gotta change the color space override from off to rec 2020. And that should work. Basically, that should like basically do everything and fix everything. That is when you could apply your LUTs over it, like whatever custom LUTs you have or whatever custom LUTs you bought, as well as do fine color adjustment. This is what it looks like when I have the color space override set to rec 2020. And then after some fine tweaks and such like that, like contrast and everything this is what you could get it to look like i absolutely love hlg just because of how i guess filmic it makes the clip or makes your footage really look it's almost like oh man i really want to work with it but at the same time i it just does not work with my workflow i spend way too much time on color grading and honestly like i could almost get the same look with Cine 4. But I mean, come on, that does look pretty good. And by the way, that's my wife. <laughs> and I actually was testing out uh, some of Steve Lutz uh, pack and you could, I'll link in the description down below to download his pack. But I also used it in, in conjunction with my own LUT to get that warm tone. Cause a lot of my, my personal LUT is very much more on the warm tone side. Again, also, if you are wanting my LUT, just uh, let me know and I'll probably send it to you. Maybe I'll have it on the store or whatever i don't know that's a while i, I still don't know how to do that <laughs> how to sell my luts but that was just a quick dive into working with hlg and if you are an hlg shooter hopefully this helped maybe this is already something you knew about or maybe this is why you've been straying away from hlg because you don't know how to really work with it hopefully it helped again all you have to do is just set that color space override to rec 2020 and it should basically do, fix everything for you and then that's when you put your fine adjustments on but you don't have to do that if you want to use leaming LUT you can but I have noticed a lot of noise in my shadows when I use leaming LUT Pro maybe I'm using it wrong maybe I'm not I'm not sure but comment down below if you have any tips or want to share your experiences with with working with HLG um, I do know it looks very nice but it's just not meant for me hopefully this helps you out that's all I got for today thank you for watching and I appreciate you for tuning in like the video if you liked it share it if you're into that consider subscribing if you're not already hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos and as always follow me on all those social medias at Aaron's at Two Films and I'll see you all on the next one peace